Stand at the front of your mat or the front of your space. Bring your big toes together and stand tall, mountain pose, Tadasana. So you're establishing your space, and this is kind of like your blueprint pose for all of your standing poses. So you want to press down evenly into your feet, heels, big toe mounds, little toe mounds, and make the legs strong. Now inhale, reach your arms up. Same things you did on the floor. Press through the heels, inner thighs back, tailbone down, arms reaching. Exhale, fold forward, let all the air out. Inhale, create a flat back. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back your left leg into a lunge. So you're lunging with your right foot forward. Your knee is right over your ankle. As you press through your back heel, lift your back thigh and lengthen your spine. Plant your hands and step back to plank position. Shift forward and lower down until everything's in line with your elbows. It's called chaturanga. Lower all the way to your belly and flip your toes back for baby cobra. Roll your chest forward and up. As you reach back through your toes, press the pinkies down and lift the inner knees. Lift your low abs and roll the chest forward and up, neck long. Then exhale, move back to downward facing dog. From down dog, look in between your hands, step that right foot forward into a lunge. Inhale, exhale, step your left. Inhale, create a flat back, lengthen your spine, and exhale, fold forward, let all the air out. Press down into your heels, Inhale, root to rise, root into your feet, reach your arms up, grow tall. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart and drop your arms to your side. Back to mountain pose. Inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, create a flat back, lengthen. Exhale, step the right leg back into a lunge. Pause here in this lunge, press through your back heel, lift your back thigh and squeeze your left hip into the midline as you lengthen from your tailbone to your crown. Keep that length as you step the left leg back into plank. From the heels to the crown, you're long, shift forward and lower. Keep that line of energy, chaturanga, and lower to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Elbows in here, chest broad. Exhale, press up and back, downward facing dog. Hold in your down dog. Lengthen the backs of the legs. Move the tops of your thighs back. Press your femur bones back. Now step your left foot in between your hands on an exhalation. Inhale, step your right leg forward and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Press down into your heels. Inhale, reach up with your breath. Take the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Drop the arms to the side. Inhale, raise your arms up and overhead. Look up this time, maybe touch. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, create a flat back, get length. Exhale, step or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, stretch your toes, open your chest, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look between the hands. So when you look at your hands, look to see that they're pressing even into the mat. Move your hips back, and then on your exhale, step or jump lightly. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Press down into your feet. Inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms to your side. Again, sun salutation A. Inhale, take the arms up creating heat, energy in the body. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, create a flat back. Exhale, step or jump back lightly to chaturanga. Strong arms here, belly in. Inhale, upward facing dog, legs active. Firm the backs of your legs and your buttocks to your heels as you open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. You want to make sure those thighs stay in neutral this whole time. You don't want your legs turning out, especially in the back bend. Otherwise, it's going to put a pinch in your lower back. Take a couple breaths here in down dog. Feel the energy balance out with your breath. Okay, now let's jump forward. Look in between your hands. Step or jump. Inhale, lengthen it out. Exhale, fold. Press down into your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Keep your legs strong as you reach your arms up. Exhale, bring the arms to your side. 
Good. Now step your right leg back about four feet and spread your arms out. Turn your toes so they point straight ahead. Now let's turn the legs to the right. The left leg pivots in slightly. The right leg turns out 90 degrees all the way. As you anchor your left heel, bend the right leg toward a 90 degree angle so that if you look down at your right knee, it's right over your ankle. And then you want your whole leg to track. So look at your right leg. The center ankle, the center knee, even your center hip should track straight ahead. So squeeze your outer right hip in, gluteus maximus, firm that buttock in, press your right knee open so it tracks straight ahead. Now as you anchor that back heel, bend the right leg a little deeper and let's move. Put the right hand on the outside of the foot, on the floor, on a block. Then externally rotate your left arm. Take the arm all the way overhead. So I normally like to use a block in this posture, but I didn't have one today. So I just put my fingertips high on the floor. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create length through all four sides of my torso. So I don't want the right side to get crunchy here. It's not a side bend, it is a lateral movement, but the spine stays long. So as you press into your back heel, feel length all the way out through your fingertips. Breathe. Now inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten your right leg, turn your foot in. So let's pause here in the middle and then turn your legs for the other side. So I pivot my right leg in slightly and I turn the left leg all the way out. As I press the back heel, I bend the left leg towards a 90 degree angle. Now look at that left leg. It's really important that it tracks straight ahead. You don't want your knee to knock in. <clears throat> so press that knee open, squeeze the left hip in, and now lift through all four sides of your waist. Lift your side chest and spread your arms from the collarbones, the center of the chest, all the way out through the fingers. Most importantly, breathe steady in and out through your nose. Now exhale, put the fingertips on the outside of your foot, right close to your ankle. Exhale, take your right arm all the way overhead. Feel your foundation, it's your feet. Press down evenly into your feet. So anchor your back leg and make the back leg strong. Feel the weight in the front of the left heel. Did your knee start to fall in? Press your left knee open and feel length through all four sides of your waist. The chest is open, but watch that your front bottom ribs don't get exaggerated. They're gonna to wanna to push forward when you open your chest. So draw your bottom ribs back in towards your frontal hip points, towards your hip bones. Inhale, take your right arm back up, back up to warrior two. Exhale, straighten your left leg, pivot your left foot in. All right, now let's step the feet to the front of the mat. 